So we're here uh, about to embark on a nice little journey. Uh, this is, uh, what? Do, how did you call it, your usual walk? This is Lorenzo yeah. Bruno, by the way, <laughs> my friend. We're going to Jericho Park. Okay. Jericho Beach, actually, it's called, too. In which part of Vancouver is this? Um, it would be the west side, I guess. Okay. Or, yes, the west side. Okay, um, and, and you said this is like the ritzy part of uh, Vancouver. Yes, yes, it's uh, a little bit more... Uh, Higher in the most part, yep. but uh, that doesn't stop us from enjoying. That's right. That's right. Okay. So Thank from you. here on in, you're our guide. So we'll uh, yes. just take it all in. Take some pictures while we're at it. Okay. Yes. See, I can do both, film and take pictures. By the way. Rock house. Here's the beach. The yacht club. Okay. See, they have a stage they put right here. I see. Yes. Right back there, and then we all just sit around here and watch, which is really nice. I guess it's hard to imagine, but not really. It's easy to imagine. Yeah. Here, let's go take a picture of that. Thank God I documented everything. Yeah. I got 5,000 videos on that website right from the beginning. Yeah. From the very first step in 1997. What, what was it, that first step that was going to lead to, yeah. to uh, uh, 200 million steps later, you know? Right, right. Like, it, 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 it's all documented, each, you know, each, yeah. you could see the struggles, too. Like, yeah. Okay, so this is uh, uh, what what uh, you're about to see is a, a uh, we I believe a very very important part of this uh, journey. As as you know, uh, along the uh, 13 years, uh, we filmed some uh, and caught some very very precious moments uh, that kind of were the pathway to this journey and and led to the uh, direction of this journey. And this is certainly uh, rates as one of them. So we're here in Vancouver, and we're about to reenact a very, very important moment that took place, uh, I believe, January 15th. Yeah, I to find out, actually. And we're just going to find out. And as everybody already knows, this is my friend uh, Lorenzo Bruno, and he's going to reenact the uh, that moment, um, that 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 moment that. Uh, uh, might be forever uh, remembered. Uh, so we're gonna just look right now to see what the uh, date, the actual date was when uh, this took okay, place. Where's the email? It says here January 3rd. So it was January 8th that the Tucson uh, uh, tragedy oh, happened. Okay. Sorry. That's okay. 
Christina Green, yes. So we're all referring to that tragedy that happened on um, uh, January 8th, the tooth, tooth, Tucson uh, shooting. And, and one of the uh, victims, of course, was uh, Christina Green. So a week later, January 15th. It was January 15th at 10.34.06 a.m. Pacific time. Pacific, yes, standard time. Okay. So it would have been 1.34.06. Eastern time. Eastern time. Okay. So you had three hours. And I thought it was the New York Times. It's not. It's the American Online News. Okay. Th that's not important, I don't think, because I think I was um, probably scanning Google News has you know, top stories, and then you can just click on, and then it'll take you to the uh, originator of that, uh, right, uh, uh, of that uh, news story. So, what was the name of that again? American Online News. Okay, that's important. That that you know, I think though I was on Google News. To originally, that's how you right, started because, with yes, Google. Yes, I don't actually ever go to this American uh, or what is it here? AOL News. Right. You know, I know, so. Okay. So you Googled and then AOL? Yes, and I started reading. Yep. And and it just. We're just going to We had been swing. talking and uh, I knew you were going to come out to visit, and this story was just so moving that I had to email it to you. You know, like, uh, th there was just no way. I, you know, as I was reading it, I was thinking of you all the time. Mm -hmm. I was saying, wow, George has to read this, like, if hmm. he hasn't already, right? And uh, the first thing I did is just, you know, uh, clicked on and uh, emailed it to you. Now, was there anything at that moment that you discovered it that you would find that this was more than going to be just a news a news article that you were sending to me or just it was yeah. a norm it felt like just a normal news article going to me that's right it felt like just uh uh, uh, uh just just the story itself mm -hmm. you know, i i didn't see no implications or anything like that I nothing just thought, i just thought it was a story about organ donation and it was a wonderful story considering the background of this little girl right coming you know being born on 9 11 and right here she is she wanted to you know be a, a congresswoman or you know get into politics and do good for the world and here she is doing good but through her organs right and uh so there's nothing that that uh, consciously you were aware of that in sending this story that it would have caused you know the uh, or help formulate the vision uh, the, no, no no I can't unless it was subconsciously unless yes, some, yes, yeah yeah okay to me okay. it was just a straightforward story about organ donation and since I knew you were coming and we had been talking about this and and it pertained uh, to what you know your charity is about I thought this this was just would be a, just a moving story for you to read basically mm -hmm. and something we could discuss after just to talk about how wonderful that is but that was it okay I didn't, I didn't think a anything uh, other than, other than that. that okay really so you know? where, where is the email the actual email do you have it there yes this is it oh that's the actual email that, that was sent email. to me yes this is yeah. the actual email see January 15th Hold on, I'm just going to get a close-up of that. Of the Okay, there we go. Here's the actual email and the date and everything. And, and the look. time, 10.34.06. Yep. So it was in the morning. Okay. I was just uh, browsing like I usually do, just surf mm -hmm. the net and, uh, you know, look for, look for new st stories that would interest me. Mm -hmm. And uh, this one just popped out, mm -hmm. and I knew it would interest you for sure. Right. right. And uh, we could talk about it, but that was it. Right. You know, it's just a moving story. And then I responded back? Did you? Yes. And I have that email, too. Oh, okay. Yes. Let's take a look at that. Then. Um, Where 
that's it. So that was okay. Hold on. January the fifteenth. So you would have replied on the sixteenth. Here, here it is. But uh, okay, we're going to take a close up of this. So what words? This, this is what you sent me. Okay, what said, did I say? Thanks, Shorty. I am not sure if I told you. I had the strangest feeling that I already knew this about Christina. And I was telling people that they were going to carry the torch in her memory throughout the world because she donated. This was before they announced this. Really strange. I guess this means I have to find a way to contact the parents. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, oh, uh, well, yeah. that, that brings us to me arriving here. Right, but I never, I never connected any of this till you mentioned it to me when you arrived. Oh, so when you read that, you weren't really like paying attention, no, like no, I wasn't reading paying that. Attention, I just didn't uh, think too much of it. Right, like I just thought until you know, I got here. It was just strange thing that you were thinking about. You know, actually, you know, I thought well. You know, every time someone dies, you would hope that that's what they would do. But you didn't know that this was the the impact. Yes. When I, you sent I, me that, I, I the what? That. Okay, what? Some people call it a a happy coincidence, mm -hmm. and some people call it uh, a, a direct uh, intervention of um, godly right. uh, things. You know, God had a hand in this. Okay, right. so right. either way works. Like, yes, yes, you know, because it doesn't change the facts so no. that it actually happened, right? right? However you want to come at it. So it, either a happy coincidence or, or a godly divine thing uh, that inspired yes. the uh, vision. So both works. And then I arrived here and, and I sort of, I guess, went into more detail what this all meant with That's you. That's right. And, and, and you said, you know, that... Uh, 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 you had mentioned that you wanted to, uh, you know, uh, dedicate this uh, next campaign to her, if that was possible. And, and then, then you started to uh, work out a plan to actually do that. It started formulating. Yeah. Do you remember where we were when that vision started formulating? Um, we were no, on I the was... beach. Oh. Yes. Okay, well, we're going for a walk on the beach now, anyway. Yeah, so... So we can contemplate. That's where it started formula. See that's if where... we can recharge our batteries and get some more ideas. Yeah, yeah I, I didn't want to... Remember I was saying I didn't want to overwhelm you with all this because when these yeah. things happen, they it, it's yeah. over, you know, like... So it I takes some time, too, to sort it out. You know, yeah, you as well. Sure. I'll be once... I'm just going to yeah. get the thing. Okay, what was, what was that, Shorty? Well, rereading the article now, what struck me now that I reread it is the dad. Okay. When he was asked by, uh, by a reporter, um, asked if he would like to meet the girl who received, received the transplant. John Green, who's the dad, said, oh, yes, and I'd give her a big hug. So he was enthusiastic about it, too. So not only, you know, like... I, and that's wonderful because right. uh, we need to get more of that out. Right. That there is, uh, you know. So what effect do you think this will have with the torch going around the world under her memory uh, with the whole world? Oh, well, I can't, uh, it, it can't, I can't help but have a, a positive effect. But uh, we'll see. Yeah, we'll that's see. The case, we, it's, you know, like hopefully it'll uh, it'll turn the tide, mm -hmm. and uh, we can actually get somewhere. Right. Um, and do you think it's it, it things are are appropriately arranged to to facilitate that? Because they're, of course, Roman Catholics, the family. Right. And you know they they um, had um, if they had knowledge that probably one of their heroes, you know Pope John Paul II, had mm -hmm. blessed this torch, 
right. if that knowledge could be shared with them and and the fact that the torch is going back to Vatican City to to mark the 10th year anniversary and to have it under Christina's memory do do you think that would inspire them to honor us in having it I would hope so yeah that's the only I, I thing we can so. do is hope you know I, I it seems like they would embrace that yes mm -hmm. you know they seem like a, from a down-to-earth family like a, a, a very giving family and uh, so the boy. trick is is getting this to them yeah. like finding a way so that they can see this you know right. and contemplate on it afterwards Yes, and uh, hopefully, you know, um, they're not being inundated, which they probably are, with people asking. Well, they're on the uh, guest special guest list for the State of Union address, so right. that so, uh, you um, can't get bigger than that. Like, yeah. you can't get uh, more inundated than that. Right, so, you know, we have to just hope that they embrace this because uh, then you know because her 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 memory is all about giving you know this little girl was all about giving and uh, you know um, she, she has affected the whole country meaning the states but I think she can affect the whole world with her message yeah and. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah. Okay. I, well, yeah, I think we can keep her memory alive, and uh, uh, th th this will become um, a legacy that not only not only the family but everybody can be proud of. That's right. That's right. Yes. Well, it seems like it's in the cards, but you just never know. That's you right. know the what the final notes are or what you know so again uh, either whatever way the chips fall is one way of putting it right or uh if it's in god's will to do this and that's the two ways that most people can look at this so yeah. was that a good yeah, way of you know. yeah Okay. And, okay. Uh, and uh, we and uh, we have to try. We have to try at least. Yes, it would we be. We have to give it a good shot. Yeah. You know because. It, uh, it, it's she, she, you know, she started it, and basically, it's almost like she's crying out. Yes. For someone to finish it, because she can't physically do it. No. So she has to do it in a spiritual way, and I think the way you're going about it is, uh, is a perfect fit for that message. Excellent. Well, that, that's words of encouragement. Like that, that certainly, uh, well, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Yeah. As the, as the world turns, or what they, uh, what, one, uh, what's that? Uh, as the world turns? Yes. Okay, as the world turns, uh, day by... Or what's the other one? Um, I'm not sure. One day at a time? Yes. One day as the world turns, one day at a time. How about this one to end it off? More will be revealed. That's right. That's a good ending? Yes. Beautiful. Okay. So long. Okay, so today is uh, January 31st, and uh, yep, and God willingly, we, um, the truck started, and uh, we got over to Rudy's. Uh, he was kind enough to um, give the uh, truck a once-over and uh, uh, give us the okay that uh, we're going to be on a good ride with the truck. And so we're on St. Clair, and we're on our way to Ottawa, and uh, we have the uh, famous uh, Constable uh, Ojo Teobadi uh, driving. Uh, he's for now. For now, and, and actually for the next three days, he's kind enough to uh, uh, be with us uh, for three more days. So you're going to see a lot of him uh, in this uh, video camera. 
and uh, then he's going to rejoin us when we get to uh, Coburg. Um, so it's a very exciting uh, trip that we're going on and we have everything in place. Uh, we have once again, oops, um, just getting it so bear with me, we have, uh, uh, you remember this folks, uh, this is the famous cross from Jerusalem that uh, our friend uh, Alex Roman gave us to ensure safe journeys. So uh, we always put it out when we go on these journeys uh, so that, uh, you know, uh, we, need it. we need everything that we can get to, to finish this. So, so with that, there's uh, going to be a lot to cover. And uh, when we arrive to Ottawa, we'll probably uh, start uh, filming again, unless we run into any moose or anything like that along the way, which... Then, then we'll be barbecuing on the way. Then, then we'll be barbecuing, and we'll, we won't have to spend as much on the food. So, over and out.